Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Bitcoin continues to consolidate just below the, you could say, breakout point, or at least, um, not sure if it's really a breakout point, but it's a resistance area for the all-time high. And it's highlighted here in red in the chart, on the chart. We talked about this resistance area. The price so far is getting rejected there a little bit, which isn't a surprise. That's what resistances are really for. The white count remains my preferred outcome, the preferred option. We're dealing here in this scenario with a 1-2, one, 1-2 two, one, two scenario or structure. Then this was a third wave or is a third wave, which is likely still unfolding. Then we should get a wave 4 and a wave 5 of a larger third wave. Then another 4-5 that can send us to around about 125,000 or even a little bit more. This is one scenario in which I would like to see very, very shortly. Maybe it's already begun. If it has, it's not very obvious yet. But what I'd like to see at some point here in this area, maybe between now and the all-time high, um, I'd like to see a fourth wave pullback that should start and that uh, the current support area is between 39,900 and 51,300. So if the price pushes a little higher, in white wave three, maybe stretches even to all-time high territory and then gets rejected there. I'm, I wouldn't even rule out a short wick higher above all-time highs, then a rejection, but I have to adjust the support area. As you can see, it will move with the price. So that's one scenario in which I think a pullback is due. It's not confirmed yet because we haven't even broken the first micro support level. And the next upside Fibonacci level is at around 68K. So that means if we form one more high in wave three, it's because of the proximity to all time highs due to the emotions, you know, there, there's gonna be a lot of emotions, FOMO and so on. It is possible, I would not rule out that we get maybe a wick to all time highs, okay, and then a rejection. So that's what we need to be prepared for in the white scenario. If we continue to extend higher, even into all time high territory and, <laughs> you know, not beyond, but um, well, if it maintains an all time high, then it's the green count, which I added a few days ago as an accelerated bullish count, which indicates we could get to 100K very directly. Similar all-time high targets, maybe even a little higher, but it is a much more aggressive and much more direct count. Um, so that's sort of just an alternative at the moment. I wouldn't jump on that at this stage, okay? But it just indicates how important it is to hold a healthy core position. And in the yellow count, we have that ABC structure we talked about, but to confirm that I need to see a break below 39,900. It's still a bullish count, but it takes, um, it allows for a deeper pullback, okay, before proceeding to all time highs. Now, then we have the one hour chart here, short term, really not any change since the last update, um, in which we talked about the five wave move up from the 23rd of January low. This is the fifth wave, which completes that larger third wave I just showed you on the daily chart. And in this scenario, we are still allowing for one more high, possibly on the micro level. As you can see here, we have from this 23rd of January low, a wave one complete, a wave two, a wave three, a wave four, and a wave five is likely unfolding right now. And that wave five has three waves only so far. Yep, you can justify five waves already, but it's not very clear. So my idea is usually to go with a trend as long as the support area isn't broken, which it isn't. One more high is reasonable interpretation. And as I said, the next FIP level is 68K. The support levels are between 57,100 and 60,700. So that's micro support. Um, when this 57,100 level breaks and we get a first break below it, it would be an indication that Yep, we could start a deeper pullback, but it would only be a first indication. We need to see a little bit more confirmation, but that would be something that tells me, okay, one more direct upside extension here in wave five, mm, probably not to be expected. And then within the wave four that's currently unfolding, you see that it could just unfold as a normal ABC structure. I've labeled it like that, or maybe even as an Elliott wave triangle. So it could just be a much more extended sideways correction here, but there's no evidence for it. So if it continues to form today, maybe higher lows and lower highs, it's likely a triangle, which could be bullish and lead to one more high, possibly to 68K or 69 before that fourth wave pullback starts after this larger degree third wave is completed. Here you see it on the daily chart again. So the support levels, I think are clear. They are not changed. 
The next upside level to watch is at 68k and a break below 57,100 should send the price to test the areas of end of February here around 50,400 and a break below that. I think that would firmly establish a top in place in wave three and we can then with more confidence track the pullback in a wave four. That's my update about Bitcoin. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.